Hi everybody. I the last time I was here with you, I was painting a lion head, and I got to thinking maybe some of you don't have paints at home, and I thought, what can we do? How can we still paint or use different things other than markers and crayons when we don't have paint at home? So I thought I'd show you a couple of ideas. Um, do you remember in our class when our orange marker was running really low and we thought let's see if we can get some color to come out of it. Do you remember what we did? Well, we'll do it with this black one because when I was coloring yesterday or the day before I noticed that my black was pretty much out of ink. And so what I've done is I've found a little jar, it's hard to tip it to the side, there you can see, with just about that much of water at the bottom, just enough to cover Sorry, I'm moving my hands around a lot. Just enough to cover the bottom of the marker so that um, the water can get right into where the ink is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the marker in the cup and I'm going to let it sit there overnight, maybe for a couple of days. And what will happen is all the leftover ink that's left in the marker is going to come out into the paint, into the water, excuse me, and make a kind of paint. Let me see if there's any color in it yet. Let's just dip into that water a tiny bit. Another thing that you can do to make, make it so that you can paint if you don't have paints is you can use dried up markers or almost dried up markers on paper and then add a little bit of water. I'm just going to dip in some clean water now so you can see. And you can use that a little bit like paint. And then I was thinking, well, if it works with dried up markers, it must work with markers that are full of ink. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. That can go there. This is going to go over here. And I'm, here's an orca that I was practicing not too long ago. And I thought, well, see, I made a few mistakes there, so I wanted to try again. But I thought, well, let's see. I don't have a black that works right now because my black is currently sitting in water turning into paint hopefully. So I thought I could try and use some purple to make this a purple orca. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace around the edges of my orca with a pretty thick line where I want the purple to be. So I want it to be wherever the black would have been if I had black. So I'm going to trace all around the edges. Certain parts of orca whales are white, so I'm not going to trace those parts. But all the way around here, and I'm even going to go around the parts that are white. And I'm just, this is an experiment. I haven't played with this before, but I thought, oh, if I'm going to experiment, I can show you, and maybe you can try some experiments at home too. So I'm just tracing around the edges of where I want the purple to go. Put my lid back on so I don't have another dried out marker. And now, let's see what happens. I'm just going to take my clean water. I don't want it ton, so remember that little trick? I just dust off, not dust off, drip off the last little bits on the side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start seeing, oh, <laughs> my experiment isn't working so well not really doing much of anything, is it? I wonder if it's my paper. This paper that I have soaks up the water really well. Huh. Well, that's an experiment that maybe didn't go the way I planned, but that's kind of the fun of art. You know what I could try to do? Let's try something else. See how the paper's wet here? Let's see what happens when I put my marker over top of the wet paper and then do it. Let's try that. It blends a little bit. Not as well as I'd hoped. I wonder if I can try with a different kind of paper. Do I have any other paper? Okay, I'm just going to pause the video and I'm going to try with a different kind of paper. Okay, I'm back now. I found a piece of the kind of paper that you would put in a computer printer. So this is not art paper. This is more like computer paper. So, let's see if it makes a difference. And if it doesn't, oh, what a mess on my table. Uh oh, I better wipe that up before it stains. Just Okay, that was a good lesson for me. 
I need to have something underneath my paper on my table when I'm working. So I have my piece of computer paper and I thought I would just draw a quick sketch. Let's just draw... I'm using a Sharpie because Sharpie, when you put water on it, won't move. And then if you have a marker that says washable right here, that means when you put water on it, it will move. So let's try that experiment again. It's going to go around the edges of where I want the purple to be. I'm just doing that. I'm not trying to make a pretty picture right now. I'm just trying to see if I can make my idea work. Let's try it. So there's my purple. Click it so that I can keep my marker for a long time. I've got my wet paintbrush. And let's see. Nope. Not so good. But I bet when it dries, right now it's quite wet, but I bet when it dries it might look quite interesting. Oh, <laughs> somebody in my house just got in the shower now. You're always hearing lots of funny noises in my house. That was the shower. Okay, and the birdie singing. Actually, I think this is kind of neat. I think the effect will be pretty cool. Do you see how it kind of bleeds out of the side? I wonder if I put a bit more water around the edges if it will keep bleeding. Let's see. Oh, look. Can you see it bleeding? I'm going to do that on the other ones and see what happens. I'm just putting a row of water, like a strip of water, around my painting. Oh, I like this. It makes it look like it kind of grows out of the flower. Do you see? This is actually pretty cool. And I think it works better on this paper because this paper doesn't soak up the water like a sponge. It kind of sits on the paper a little bit. So that's something you can do and experiment with and see if you can make something interesting. I'm just going to maybe, I don't have any other colors right with me, but I'm going to put some dots in the middle just to make it kind of fancy. Lots of little dots and I'm just going to put water over top and see what happens. Let's see. Just watch it for a minute. I wonder if I can zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in. You can look even closer. Oh, yes, I can. how the color is blending. I wonder if you could do an interesting picture like that at home. Experiment with some washable markers. Okay, I'll zoom out again. Experiment with some washable markers. So remember, they need to say washable. This one is an ultra clean washable, but that means that they can, they can spread with water. They're not permanent. So they're kind of fun to play with. And let's just take a look back at our black and see what's happening. And if I move this over and put it down, wow. Okay, let's just try with the brush and see. Color's still coming out. There's still color in the marker. Mm, not too much color there. It, my recommendation would be, oh, there's a bit of color there. Do you see it? Kind of a greeny color. I would use l as little water as you can. So maybe I used too much water. You can kind of see here if I hold it there, you can see how much water I used. I think I used a bit too much water maybe, but you could try. Again, play around with it. That's what art is all about, playing around. Look at this. This is very cool. I love what happened here. It would be interesting to use another color on the other side and let it bleed, it bleed into each other and see what the colors do. Anyway, happy experimenting. That was just a little bit of fun, something that you can try at home. And uh, I'll see you soon. Hope you're having a good weekend. Or when you see this. <laughs> I don't know if you'll see this on the weekend, but hope you're having a great day. Bye.